Welcome back to the Knights of Knee. I'm Jordan, and today we're going to take a look at the monstrous Arcanum unit, Famir Warriors. Uh, my personal favorite monster unit in the game for Storm of Magic, um, and I guess Monstrous Arcanum has a couple missions that aren't Storm of Magic based that you can use them in too. But uh, they're my favorite unit for all of them. They're monstrous infantry, uh, unit sizes 3 to 12. And here's the kicker they are 75 points apiece. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think Monster Arcanum was written, obviously by Forge World, at the beginning of, maybe it was the end, but the beginning of 7th edition, sometime during 7th edition, uh, when this was a reasonable price, I would say, for them. And then when 8th edition came along and you had more hordes, more infantry heavy armies, uh, with the rank bonuses, um, and just a couple other things in the game that changed how monsters worked a little bit and made them easier to kill. That changed a lot. Now, I'm not saying for me are super weak. I think they're actually fairly well priced. They're probably just a little bit over, but not much. I mean, you're you're arguing five to ten points. But I think that they're excellent. I've used them a couple times, and I really really like them. Um, they have scaly skin and heavy armor for four up, and they have a great weapon. So they're always going to go last, which is totally fine. It's not a big deal. The Vermeer no, uh, Noble is 15 points, and he gets you an extra attack and leadership, which is super important. But the trick is, when you're playing with them, and they have a lot of cool rules like Cold-Blooded and Ambusher, and they have a Strength Fire Tail Attack, which is different in Monstrous Arcanum. You just get it, and then I believe you get plus one to hit if you're in the rear of the unit and they use it against you. I'd have to double check here, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, but the thing that you take them for, and you want to take at least four guys so you can get this... Um, is called From the Mists, and it's a bound spell. It's a three up to cast, and so it remains in play. And what it does is it gives them, essentially gives them soft cover, minus one to hit. And anytime anybody tries to charge it, um, you have to reroll the charge distances, which is amazing. You could drop the great weapons and take two hand weapons, but I don't think that's super important. Here's why. From air movement six, Weapon skill 4, strength 4, toughness 5, which is super important, 3 wounds, also important, 3 attacks, leadership 7, and 8 with a noble. And the noble gets an extra attack, so he's 4. That movement 6 and the toughness 5 combined with From the Mists, if you keep casting it, and your 4-up heavy armor save is awesome. So you are weak to one thing, cannons and bolt throwers, obviously, because you're not going to get your armor save, and they can penetrate ranks. That is is a risk um, when you get shot at them, and the front of the miss isn't going to help them at all. But they're more of a distraction unit. Granted, they're in incredibly pricey to be doing that, but you you should be taking them in in this. I hate using it, but the spirit of the game uh, because it's so vague and everyone has their own interpretation. They are there. To just be cool. They don't really like... There, There's probably five or six things I can think of off the top of my head. They're better than taking them. Um, but they just look so awesome. And your opponent's going to do everything he can to get rid of them. And if he doesn't, or you're able to play it out really well and kind of keep them around and let them, your rest of your army take the brunt of your opponent, which is probably a terrible idea, but if, if you can stick them around, they are monsters in melee. At yeah, they're going last. But that toughness five and that four armor save is going to keep them alive at least in melee, for a long time. Unless you're playing against a dedicated uh, monstrous infantry unit, this the executioner is probably able to take you out pretty quickly. Uh, anything with killing blow will do it. But unless you're playing against those units, you're going to do awesome. Especially if you can get the flank. Oh my gosh, they're just beasts. Just absolute beasts. And their second rank can get three attacks, which is also phenomenal, because they're monstrous infantry. Um, but if you ever get a chance... Um, Definitely take a look at them in the Monstrous Arcanum book. Check out their fluff. There used to be, uh, in the Storm of Magic, there's a Famir wizard, I think. I can't remember what he's actually called. He's okay. He's definitely overcosted by a lot for what he does. But I think the Famir warriors are great. I was a little sad to see that they didn't get a HQ choice outside of the wizard, which is just another Storm of Magic monster, because how great would it be to run all Famir? Your games wouldn't be super exciting, because you're going to do one thing. But you do that one thing so well. But here's my finished models. I just finished them for an upcoming game on November 8th, 2020 for us. 
Let me know what you think, everybody. Have a great day.